Hey guys, my name is Filler Fizz. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe so you don't miss out on Kingdom of Heckfire videos. Anyways, um, today just took a shower. Um, I got my Asian hair, so I'm just wearing a hat today. But today I got a brand new video for you guys, and it's how to spend your dragon stamps. And that's gonna be the whole video today. And um, you guys have been uh, leaving comments um, on what video you kind of want to make me. Uh, you kind of want to like see a video about and that is coming up I promise you it really is coming up um, just lining up these videos because I do have them lined up and sometimes they're all ready so like I can just like upload them in a couple of days so um, that's coming up I promise you <laughs> and I love every single person that gives me content because I don't want to ever run out of content so thank you so much and uh, this today's video is how to spend your dragon stamps. So uh, we all know uh, dragon stamps are kind of hard to come by um, As you play every single day you get more and uh, as you can see right here uh, for three starring uh, dragon quest you get uh, Common stamps common dragon stamps and uncommon dragon stamps and then through meta events too You can also get uh, some stamps some dragon stamps so as you can see right here, for six star, you get epic dragon stamps. Not a whole lot, like 650, but you know, it's enough. And then there's some rare dragon stamps there too. So that's really good for eight stars, 10, and then a 150 epic. Um, so you get them just randomly, um, especially uh, this many event right here. So you get them epics, 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 epics. So awesome. Um, Again, they're really hard to come by. So here's like my tips and tricks and where to spend them, you know um, Ranking up a dragon is a must because without dragons, you know, this game wouldn't be anything You can have as many troops as you want, but you don't have all dragons or attacks in PvP or PvE So I highly suggest um, focusing on the dragons that need it the most so um, number one is you should always prioritize epic dragons. They're the strongest, especially smack. So um, there is four epic dragons. Um, so there is waffles and smack and also uh, lady and the newest one, which is just came out this meta event is Gordon, Gordon. So um, that is the four dragons you definitely want to prioritize out of above all right so all of them are the strongest they're on your first march um on raids pvp or pve they are the best dragons you'll ever get i swear to you and they all have their own different um things they do so waffles is pvp smack is uh like raids um lady is for like level four raids um lava or if you want to get stronghold and Gurdon is also a raid dragon. So maybe in the future they're gonna add more um, lava dragons or like PvP dragons, you never know. But that's definitely coming in the future. I bet you they're not gonna stop here. <laughs> so um, with that, um, I wanted to uh, prioritize smack if you are gonna do one. Um, for the most part, you want to have them even, you know, like right here at mine, my, my Waffles is ranked 21, my uh, well, Smack is ranked 20, uh, my la Lady is ranked 20, and then my Gurdon, honestly, is ranked 3 because it's brand new. But I am saving up my stamps, my top shelf stamps right here. As you can see, I have 4.23k, so that is all going towards uh, Gurdon whenever I can add, I can uh rank him up there so i'm gonna get him as high as i can so that you know i can get him up there and then have my raids even stronger because that is my plan at least i'm not sure if you, that's your plan but that's my plan um i'm really happy with my waffles and uh smack and lady being ranked 20 honestly so i'm not gonna touch that i'm that's all gonna go to Gurdon and then maybe the next a couple epic dragons here in the future so that's my plan and then my second tip is Second is rare dragons prioritize rot because it gives a research bonus and I'll show you guys right here So this is my rot and I'm a again. I'm a bad line man. So for the longest time rot was my dude um, As you can see right here research speed boost a hundred and ten percent for having that rank 23s All right, so really really good the higher that is the more research um, 
speed boost you get, which cuts down days. I swear to you, that's days off your research. Um, it's really good. I'll show you guys right here. My research speed boost is 1,420. So that includes my studies and my university. So I'm really, really happy with that, with my raw unstacked with that um, 1420. So um, the other two have really good um, abilities too. Um, so this is Captain Sparkles. Um, this is like construction speed boost. I feel like construction really isn't that um, crazy, especially compared to like troop training and like research. Um, construction definitely definitely affordable um, except for like the t uh, the level 26 so those are kind of more expensive and then we got my guy Rector and Bob here here's and they're the twins and this one gives you troop training speed boost so um, only 90% so that's a whole lot right but you know um, I don't really train up troops a whole lot so um, I'm really happy with him being right there and where he's at so um, again I'm really prioritize rot in the beginning um hopefully you have him um if you have uh the rare dragons and number three always spend stamps on dragons with that day's biome <clears throat> and make it as even as you can right so today uh is a reset so uh as you can see right here whenever i three star this it gives me a couple dragon stamps right here and what how i spend them is Today is, sorry, today is Badlands. So what I would do is I would only spend everything on Badlands. So I'd buy this times 20 for 100 and then uh, Birth of Shards times 20 and then for 100. So if tomorrow, obviously it's going to be Swamp, I would only buy Swamp Shards and then, I mean, Swamp, yeah, Swamp Shards and for Frank and Migos. And then for, again, for like the next day when it's, um, a grass day I only buy it for Ruby and then Bovis so that's what I do you don't have to follow it but then maybe you want to maybe you do so um so that's how I spend it on and then um so for uh for uh PvP dragons which is the uncommon dragon corner right so for the a lot of your gameplay um I highly suggest you're gonna have like uh, your two biome to be in your march it's for your wall right so for the longest time I had uh, rot and yurk for my wall but then I got a uh, lady really strong and then all of a sudden she's uh, he's he I don't know what what do you think lady is I mean it says lady on there but I don't know if it's a like boy or a girl but let me know in the comment section down below so again it's only 410 for uh, having Yurik in there and then uh, 919 so I'm almost at 1 billion walls so that's awesome and I still can't defend over the strongest attack here in 21 <laughs> in 10 sorry so um, that's just uh, some of the things you gotta oh maybe you can snipe that hurry hurry go 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 oh, I don't think I'm gonna get it up oh, yeah it's too bad oh well um, so for those, um, I only spend like how I spend my stamps is I go and whatever main biome you have for your wall, that's the only one I buy it for. So um, again, I'm a bad land main, so I only buy it for Yurik. And again, um, it's actually like rank 28, which is disgustingly more than the others, right? So um honestly that's all i do um just buy it for that main biome because it also helps with pvp and all that so i'll show you guys right here this is my uric uh rank 27 and then let me show you guys my other pvp dragons right so um my other pvp dragon is like uh bubbles rank 18 so like 10 ranks over which is, is so dumb right I can't believe that. Um, so that's what I go for. It's kind of funny. Ooh, some gems. Thank you. I will take some. Ooh, you can never run out of gems. That's what I say. Uh, oh, well. Anyways, um, so that's what I do on how I spend my stamps. Um, if you want to ever get stamps, just make sure to log in every single day. You will be just fine. Um, 
you just get them over playing every single day and again for like the events you get them randomly kind of so um the like hoarding hex stones sometimes you get them right there so um for like one star you get times 80 rare dragons and then epic dragon stamps which is sweet right and then for like level nine which is the highest nine stars you get 360 380 dragon stamps and then uh 400 epic dragon stamps which is a lot that's the reason why i have like 4,000 because of these daily quests and then uh again for like these daily quests um you just get them randomly so like this one uh you get top shelf stamps right so i'm working on my town hall 26 I mean my 26 buildings and you know you always need uh, dragons like blueprints so that's what I suggest um, you guys don't have to follow this but this is what I do um, that's how I spend my dragon stamps let me know in the comment section down below how you spend yours because they might be better than mine you never know so anyways I love you guys so much if you guys learned something new and you got value out of this video please leave a thumbs up it really helps me out and um, Again, I have a brand new schedule, so um, I hope you guys understand that I upload every other day now, not daily. So anyways, you guys, I love every single one of you. Seriously, I really do. And I hope you guys are having a good night tonight. And I love you all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs>